Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, we have got another giant mouse knife to check out. This is their newest release. It just released, oh, what, uh, about this time last week. But this is the Yacht from, I know I'm probably not saying it absolutely correct, correctly, but it's J-A-G-T. That's how our good friend Jack Farmboy uh, Yacht. That's how he told me how to say it. I guess Lefty can say it really well because apparently he can speak German, but hey, um, I do the best I can. But however you get to pronouncing the name, just know that this is a really, really nice knife and I am super, super enjoying it. We've got the green micarta version of here, of course. It, I know it looks more probably brown than it does green, but it's green micarta. There's black micarta as well. It's kind of a kind of a marbled black and kind of creamish colored, if you will. It actually looks pretty good. And then there's a bright orange G10 for those hunters and outdoorsmen out there. But man, the fit and finish on this thing is really, really nice. And you can just see, I mean, we know crown spines are a big thing with Giant Mouse, which I really, really enjoy, but I mean, even back here, the backspacer is crowned. The flipper tab is crowned. I mean, they just take the extra time to make a knife look really, really nice. Titanium backspacer, of course, you do have a wire clip. Now, I've heard some people say, well, that's kind of interesting, a wire clip. But I, I think it works out just fine. No issues for me. Um, it is right or left hand, so that's awesome. You do have a lanyard hole right there in that backspacer. Very cool. Everybody, hopefully, we're making a few people happy with this one. But the fit and finish on it, especially, I'm trying to get a good look at that milling on the micarta. Just gives a really, really good grip. Let's see. I mean, there you go. You can kind of see the rippling, if you will. There you go. In the micarta which is really, I mean, and it's done very, very well. And it kind of carries all the way down through the scale, as you can see there. Like I said, just the attention to detail that comes on these knives is just, it's fantastic. It just is. I really, really love the look of it. That backspacer, it's just different because you don't see that a lot even on backspacers. But the crown, like I said, the flipper tab is crowned. Nice, of course, crown spine as always. That nice forward jipping, jipping, jimping. There we go. Magna cut blade steel. Look at that Ace CPM Magna cut. There you go. You do have the flipper tab as we've talked about a little bit. You also have a very nice deployment hole that I can, I can reverse flick it very easily. So shouldn't be an issue for all you experts out there. Should be able to get it just fine. But I love the look of that blade. Sort of a... It it almost, you know, it's got that Nesmuk vibe to it to me. You know? The Nesmuk vibe, but nice big belly on it. Got a nice choil. Very nice choil. Sharpening choil. Not what I am calling a forward finger choil. However, you know, you can get your finger forward on that flipper tab, and you can choke up. That's just not big enough to be a finger choil for me. It's a sharpening choil. And even if you do choke up, you can get your thumb out there again on that forward jimping, which is very nice in several different grips. It grips very nicely. It's not too aggressive. It's just <laughs> dang near perfect, okay? I mean, that's just how my Giant Mouse does their jimping. It works very, very well. But we're going to have to zoom out a little bit more for this one because it's a decent size knife. We get it over here, and you're looking at right about 8 inches. Right about 8 inches right in there. I'd say almost exactly 8 inches. Now, your handle is going to come out to about 4 and 3 quarters. Pull that blade back there, and you're going to get about a 3 and a quarter inch uh, blade length with a full cutting edge. Very nicely. Grip length. I'm looking at about three and a half. Well, would you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? Three and a half inch 
grip length. Yeah, you guys know. You guys know about that three and a half. You've been watching me. That is right perfect for me. It just really, really melts into my hand. So, and that's a large reason why I like it, man. Ergos are number one with me. Ergos are really no blade steel, whatever. You know, I, honestly, seriously, blade steel, whatever. I mean, Magna Cut cuts, VG10 cuts, 440A cuts. Might not cut as long, but it cuts. So, Ergos is number one with me, and this thing has got Ergos wrapped up, tied up in a nice little bow. Uh, pretty close. Really, really close in overall length with the PM2. Which means, of course, that it's going to be a little bit bigger than our bug out. Absolutely. Definitely is. And, oh, we're going to break out the scale and I forgot it was going low on me. I, gotta, I think I have another battery. I need to check. Oh, it's going to read for us. Right about four ounces. That's not bad. Not bad at all. A little bit over the ounce per inch, but nothing too crazy. Whoever decided that was the rule. Yeah, okay. Very nice in and out of pocket with that wire clip. I know a lot of people enjoy the wire clip a lot. Some people, not as much. Now, they do have... Where's it at? Where's the box? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. They do, if I remember correctly have is it stuck in there or is it in the bag oh this one i thought this one came with the other clip as well maybe it didn't i thought for sure i had the other clip i never put it on because honestly i prefer the wire clip with this one i know the ace the iona version 2 i just had had the other clip and i much prefer the the wire clip Absolutely, 100%. Goes in and out of pocket very nicely. As you can see there, it's got pretty good retention. Could it be a little tighter? I think it could. But as far as ergos go, it's good for me. I, I didn't even look for the other clip, to be perfectly honest with you. That's why I thought there was another one in there. But apparently not. Well, it's okay. Doesn't bother me. I like the wire clip. There again, ergos, absolutely fantastic. Everything has been chamfered, curved, uh, crowned, however you want to put it. it. It's been done very, very well. That jimping is about perfect for me. Again, it just it's grippy enough, but it's definitely not overly aggressive. It's just very, very well done. Uh, lock up, very good. Access to the liner lock, no, no issues. I mean, I can unlock it, actuate it without even trying. It just works very smooth. What's our lock up on it? Lock up looks to be, doo -doo. I'm gonna say about 30%, 30% on the lock up. Now, there's jimping there on the liner lock, or the liner. It does not bother me at all in grip, not even remotely. Uh, no issues. No issues. Can't feel it. Can't tell it's there. Action. Action is pretty nice. There we go. I can reverse flick it. The detent is pretty solid. Very nice. Very nice detent. It's got a good drop to it. It's not... Super drop shutty, but there you go. You stop it with the thumb, drop it shut. Yeah. Uh, those of you that are familiar with giant mouse knives, uh, you may be a fan. You might not be. Um, I, I am. Really enjoy what giant mouse does. I really enjoy the attention, the crown spines, just the extra, a uh, little bit that they go to, go to, to produce. A really good looking knife and a very useful knife as well so guys gotta thank giant mouse for sending this one out our good friend jack farm boy thank you so much great seeing you again at blade show west my friend absolutely terrific seeing you i really really appreciate it. like i said giant mouse sending it out guys 
What do you think? What are your thoughts on the yacht? Let me know if you had the chance to get one in hand. Would love. To. I know they just come out. Maybe some of you that were at Blade Show West got to get one in hand and check it out. That would be great to hear your thoughts on it as well. As always, guys, greatly appreciate you. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.